Welcome to Quick Tip Thursday. I'm super excited today because I sewed up the shorts in the bias grain line, and then I decided it would be fun to also sew them in the straight of grain so we could compare. And I sewed them together, and then I thought, should I go down and have my husband take a picture of my butt so I can see how it's looking, or you know, what am I gonna do? And I've come across a wonderful tip for anyone who does video and has a monitor and can look in it. So I took the time to move my camera over so it's pointing that way to my um, sidewall. And then I turned my monitor so I could see what I was, um, you know, looking at when I was shooting. And so I was able to see my butt and the fit of these shorts in a 27 inch monitor, which made it really easy to see how well things were fitting. So I'm super excited for um, that little discovery because it's always been a thing about how am I gonna really get a good view of what's going on in the back or what's going on in the front. Um, you know, should I try to take a picture of myself? I mean, all sorts of things. I mean, and I've done it, but now I'm super excited. I'll just point my camera that way and shoot against the wall and then I can look in my monitor to see what's going on. All right, so here's the results of my little test. I'm actually a little disappointed that there wasn't any dramatic difference, to be honest with you. Remember, I put that extra half inch seam allowance on the bias version because I wasn't sure if I'd need it. I sewed at an inch seam allowance. Let me turn it inside out so you can see. All right, so see I sewed at that full inch and I didn't need to play with it. So, so basically you're looking at the shorts cut out with the exact same pattern pieces, one on the bias grain line and one on the straight of grain. Let's take a look. This is the shorts pattern in the straight of grain and you can see you know, it fits pretty good. I haven't put the waistband on yet. So this, these shorts would go all the way to the, um, and to my natural waist if I had the waistband on. So there's how the front looks and here's how the back looks. And again, this is cut straight on the grain. Okay. And what I want to do is I just want to compare for you the look of straight of grain versus cutting them out on the bias. So what I'm going to do now is let me just I'm gonna let you look at this for one more second. This is straight of grain, okay? And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the bias ones on. All right, so here I have the bias shorts on and I'm almost a little disappointed because I thought there would be a bigger difference and there really isn't. I think the one difference is they feel more comfortable. Let me show you the back. Okay, I almost think these fit better cut on the bias. So I'm really excited. I think I'm going to make these up in the bias and then I'm gonna make the long shorts up in the bias. Um, it just has that little bit of give across my body that makes this really, you know, a little bit more comfortable um, to wear, I think, because this is a Liberty of London twill and it has zero stretch. I really like the way the bias is on this twill fabric. The biggest difference really was the bias, um, the shorts cut on the bias were really more comfortable. Um, and obviously that's to be expected. I, it was, you know, you're taking advantage of the bias grain line, which has stretch going across the, um, across the body when you cut things out that way. So I guess it's not surprising that it's more comfortable. I almost think that there's less wrinkles um, or the fit is a little bit nicer, I think, in the back, actually. So I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna finish these two pairs of shorts, um, and then I think I'm gonna try making the long short in a bias as well. I have some nice sort of, um, it's not red, but almost like a, a shade of red, I guess. Like an almost, I don't have it with me, it's in the washing machine, so I can't show it to you. But there's absolutely no stretch in those either. So as soon as I finish these, I'm gonna cut out the long pair on the bias and try that as well. I'm so excited, in fact, I think I'm gonna include instructions for the bias grain line in the shorts pattern, so if you guys wanna try it, you can. Um, just quickly, one last thing before I go. I wanna just show you something. This is a Liberty of London twill print that I used, and I just wanna show you that um, when you take a print that's skewed on the diagonal or orientated on the diagonal, it comes out st straight up and down when you cut 
the piece out on the bias. So notice how like these blue patches of flowers are going left to right instead of diagonal. And then when you look at the one that I cut out straight of grain, they are on the diagonal. Right. So that's just something to think about when you're cutting out your pieces and depending on how you position the pattern pieces on your fabric, if there's a print or a stripe, it's obviously going to make a difference. So I just think that's kind of interesting. I think this print is so busy in this case, it really doesn't matter. I don't feel like I have to match it up, so that's good. That was my interesting little experiment with bias versus straight of grain. And this is the first time I've tried to use a twill fabric on the bias. And I'm guessing because of the twill nature or the diagonal weave in the fabric, maybe that made that a little bit more durable because I really had to make no adjustments for the bias, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to finish these up and then I'll make the longer version so I can see how it looks running down the leg to the knee. That's going to be kind of cool. Um, but in any case, if you have any questions about bias grain line, if you've made a garment in both straight of grain and bias, I'd love to see pictures of your projects. I think that would be very cool. Um, I'm going to start a sewer girl gallery on my blog. So if you have pictures you want to share with everybody to inspire everybody, please start sending them to me because I'm going to be setting that up um, probably when I get back from the American Sewing Expo at the end of the month. So that'll be my October project. Tomorrow, my daughter is playing her first volleyball game of the season. It's going to be East Catholic against Ram High School. And I'm super excited because Ram almost won the whole state championship last year. So that's bound to be a super exciting game. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you for Quick Tip Tuesday next week.